Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajaska Kasungura YouTube channel. Today is International Father's Day, and uh, I want to wish all fathers in this platform a happy Father's Day. But Kaka, I have reservations. I'm wishing a happy Father's Day to all present responsible fathers. Those are the fathers. I'm wishing a happy Father's International Day today. We are celebrating this day in one of the wards within Kesey County, that is Ibeno Ward. Uh, the event is happening at Nyantrago Stadium in Kesey County, so that is where I am speaking from. Back to Kenyan politics. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly click the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell so that once I upload a video, you are about to be notified. Today, I want to address, in particular, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, ladies and gentlemen. If there's one man I'm coming to love is uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa Economic Advisor, David Ndi. This man is preparing a future for himself. Why am I saying this? Is a man who speaks the truth. He is not a psychophant. He doesn't fear whether Ruto will fire him or not. He's a man who tells the truth amidst all the storms. Now, there's something that is surprising me. I was reading an article published by one of the publications from the Daily Nation. And um, some details shocked me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you've seen this somewhere. And, uh, you know, when William Ruto came into power... He was telling Kenyans through regard to Gashawa that uh, the retired president, Uhuru Kenyatta, left empty coffers. And that there was nothing in government. They left nothing to spend. In fact, Gashawa was using some terms that were very funny. He said, Uhuru Kenyatta left with everything that not even a rat is able to spot some remains of food in the state house. So, he left empty coffers. So there was nothing to spend. But then, we are getting strange reports from the government. And this is what I want to address today. You know, Kenyans are not fools. Kenya, as Ruto used to say, has short of fools. Yani, wajinga waliisha Kenya. That's what I want to say. Now, in nine months, ladies and gentlemen, in just nine months, a government that said it found empty coffers, in nine months, William Ruto is spending 14 billion on luxury alone. Luxury I mean cooking tea for pastors in state house. 14 billion I mean failing cars to travel into petty Thanksgiving ceremonies every weekend. Luxury, I mean, uh, traveling abroad for no good reason whatsoever. Luxury, I mean, just tanga tangering in Kenya. You know, in the Jubilee government, William Ruto alikuwa naitua mutu wa tanga tanga. And that is what is happening today, ladies and gentlemen. How, for heaven's sake, do you spend 14 billion on luxury alone? in nine months. And according to available data, 14 billion is cash that is supposed to be spent more than five years in state house. But then, a government that found empty coffers is spending 14 billion in just nine months. Now, if you are a mathematician, there's some mathematics we used to calculate, we say, if 14 billion is equal to nine months, you know, if you calculate times 12 times 5, those are 60 months. Now, if 14 billion is equal to 9 months, how about 60 months? Calculate, you cross check, 14, you, you cross multiply. 14 billion times 60 divided by 9. Then you will get your answer. The answer you get tells you how much Ruto is likely to spend, 
after five years in power. That is a government that found empty coffers, ladies and gentlemen. In the last budget, those who went through the budget, I came, I came across something very strange. And uh, I found that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration is allocating more than two billion on Im locust emergency response. And I was asking myself, where are these locusts that the government is allocating more than two billion? Who is going to eat this cash in case in the whole year we do not have an outbreak of locusts? Ladies and gentlemen, as I said in my last video, every shilling that Ruto spent in campaigns must be returned by all means possible. It doesn't matter. The housing project, the hustler fund, and other projects you see that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime is pressing down our throats. Those are scandals in waiting. Mark my words. Take this statement to the bank and get a loan. Buy a car. Now, the article further says that the 14 billion spent in nine months is the highest expenditure as compared to past governments. Yani, in short, William Ruto has broken the record of expenditure on luxury, 14 billion. When you compare past governments, Jomo Kenyatta, President Moi, Mwai Kibaki, Uhuru Kenyatta, and now William Ruto, he has broken the record of past four presidents, and he has surpassed the spendings that are allocated on luxury for presidents in the states. A government that said we found empty coffers. Now, according to an article in the Business Daily, it says the latest, the latest controller of budget data, you know, I'm arguing based on available evidence available data that you can see. It's not propaganda. It's not an innuendo. I am arguing using solid evidence. According to that article, it tells us travel packs for foreign and local trips jumped from 1.62 billion. That's the gentleman. <laughs> and I mean Uhuru Kenyatta on foreign and local trips, Uru Kenyatta spent 1.62 billion. But here comes a hustler. You know, a hustler is someone who is economical on spending. The man who is saying, we are going to revive Kenya's economy. The man who says, we are going to cut expenditure so that we can save, right? The man who is saying, I am much committed in reviving the Kenya's economy, has spent 13 billion extra from the previous actual 1.6 billion in other governments. Now, without even asking your question, ladies and gentlemen, don't you think we have an extravagant president? Don't you see the kind of person you elected to power? Eating your cash like in Jugu Karanga? Eating your tax like in Jugo Karanga. Now, something interesting here. This is how the article reads from Margaret Nyakango. She says, The National Assembly recorded the highest domestic travel at 2.85 billion, while foreign affairs recorded the most increased foreign travels by one uh, at 1.43 billion ladies and gentlemen now this is what david is saying this is an economic advisor to the president this is what he's tweeting we want to believe no no this is not david D's uh, uh, responses i want to read for you a response from david D to michael edwin now what did Michael Edwin say? Michael Edwin was asking David Lee on Twitter and asking him, we want to believe 
the travels are in the best interest of Mama Mboga, even if it's traveling for a meeting that will be held via Zoom. Now, this is what the Vindis responded to the claims. Government is wasteful. That's the Vindis saying. And this administration has an itchy feet problem. So, David D is admitting in public that yes, even if I was appointed to be the economic advisor to the president, but I want to admit the current administration has an itchy feet problem. So, David D is insinuating that yes, William Ruto has a problem on spending. Ladies and gentlemen, now, from what I'm saying, or from what I've said, these are the people you are trusting to revive an economy. These are the people you are entirely putting your trust to rescue an economy by... But let's calculate together. I want, I want to calculate with you together. Kaka I said, if in six months they have spent 14 billion, what about five years? Five years means five times 12 those are 60 months. Now, 14 billion, I want to calculate for you. That's a gentleman. A practical uh, mathematics. Right? 14 billion times 9. That is 126 billion. 126 billion, we divide by, uh, we divide by 60. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> my goodness. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. <laughs> yani, by the end of five months, Ruto shall have spent a whole Kenyan budget on travels and foreign trips. By the way, why should I complain on a government we elected Namukasema had to pangwingwi. See now, see now, these people are eating your government without salt. These guys, by 2027, they shall have eaten you raw. More cries, more stress, more wailing. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.